Now that you have your shiny new Steam Deck, you are ready to go on an adventure that lets you play games from both Windows and Steam OS. It's like being able to choose between being a Jedi or a Sith. And who wouldn't want that kind of power? Dual booting your Steam Deck gives you the flexibility to access a variety of games and applications, making your portable gaming beast even more versatile. If you're as excited as we are about today's topic, show some love by liking and subscribing to Retro Pocket for more amazing content. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. What is dual booting on your Steam Deck? First things first, let's talk about what dual booting actually is. Dual booting means having two operating systems on your device, in this case, the Steam Deck. While SteamOS is optimized for gaming, Windows offers a familiar environment for productivity tasks and supports applications that aren't available on SteamOS, like Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and crucially, Xbox Game Pass. You can dual boot on the same SSD, partitioned for each OS, or use an external SD card for one of the OSs. The Steam Deck can handle this setup, even though Valve hasn't released an official dual boot wizard yet. You'll choose your OS through the boot manager each time you start up. This flexibility allows you to switch between a powerful gaming system and a fully functional productivity device whenever you need. How to dual boot your Steam Deck The primary method to dual boot your Steam Deck involves using the boot manager. This method works well, but it can become tedious if you frequently switch between OSs. Here's a detailed guide on how to do this. First, ensure your Steam Deck is completely shut down. With the device off, hold down the volume down button and the power button simultaneously until you hear a chime. When the chime sounds, release the power button, but keep holding the volume down button until the boot manager screen appears. The boot manager will let you choose between SteamOS and Windows. If Windows is installed on an SD card, you can select the SD card from the boot manager. While this method is straightforward, having to perform this button combination every time you switch OSs can be a bit cumbersome. That's where a dual boot manager comes in handy. Setting up a dual boot manager on your Steam Deck. To streamline the process, you can use a dual boot manager like Clover for Steam Deck by Ryan Rudolfoba on GitHub. This will make switching between OSs smoother and more efficient as you won't need to use any button combinations each time you start up your Steam Deck. Getting Windows ready for Clover Boot Manager Before installing Clover, you need to prepare Windows to ensure a smooth experience. Start by enabling Unbranded Boot, open Windows Search, and type Turn Windows Features On or Off under the device. Lockdown Folder, check the box for Unbranded Boot. This prevents Clover from displaying random boot brands. Next, run a few commands in Command Prompt to configure Windows settings. Open Command Prompt as an administrator. In the Command Prompt window, enter the following commands one at a time. If these commands don't work, you can also add this command. Installing Clover on Steam OS. Once Windows is ready, you'll need to set up Clover on Steam OS. Start by entering the boot manager again by holding down the volume down button and the power button until you hear a chime. Let go of the power button but keep holding the volume down button until the boot manager screen appears. Select Steam OS and enter desktop mode by selecting power after pressing the Steam button. Once in desktop mode, ensure you have a pseudo password set. This is crucial for administrative tasks in Steam OS. Open console from the app launcher and start by entering the following commands. You will need to enter your sudo password to start installing Clover. During installation, you can choose which OS you want Clover to default to. Once installed, restart your Steam Deck, and you should see Clover appear, allowing you to choose your OS without needing to press any buttons. Fixes for dual boot issues on your Steam Deck. Even though Clover is incredibly useful, it's not an official solution, and you might encounter some issues. Here are fixes for common problems you might face. Missing SteamOS in Boot Manager If SteamOS disappears from the Boot Manager, don't panic, it's not gone for good. 
Shut down your Steam Deck and enter BIOS by holding the volume up button and the power button until you hear a chime. Once in BIOS, navigate to boot from file, EPS, EFI, SteamOS, SteamCL.EFI. This should boot you back into SteamOS. To make SteamOS reappear in the boot manager, open console in desktop mode and enter the following command. This command will add SteamOS back to the boot manager. Setting a sudo password. Setting a sudo password is essential for administrative tasks in SteamOS. To do this, open desktop mode and go to settings. In the user section, create a username and password. This will enable you to access administrative functions that require a sudo password. Windows taking over bootloader. If Windows overrides Clover and takes over the bootloader, you'll need to download Clover for Windows from the same GitHub page. Download the zip file, extract it into a folder, and run cloverwindows.bat as an administrator. You might receive a warning that Windows doesn't recognize the app. Just click More Info. Run anyway. After running the batch file, Open Task Scheduler by searching for it in Windows Search. In Task Scheduler Library, find Clover Task, right-click on it, and select Properties. In the General tab, choose Run whether user is logged on or not, and check the two boxes below it. Finally, right-click Clover Task again and click Run. OS Update Breaks Clover if an update to either Windows or SteamOS breaks Clover and the device says it can't find any boot options, don't worry, your Steam Deck isn't bricked. Refer to the first fix above and boot SteamOS from its file. Enter BIOS by holding the volume up button and the power button, letting go of the power button once you hear a chime. In BIOS, navigate to boot from file, EPS, EFI, SteamOS, SteamCL.EFI to boot into SteamOS and fix Clover. The process might seem exhaustive, but dual booting your Steam Deck gives you the flexibility to use both SteamOS and Windows, leveraging the best of both worlds. Whether for gaming, productivity, or accessing Xbox Game Pass, having two operating systems on your Steam Deck can significantly enhance your experience. With the right setup and a bit of troubleshooting, you'll have a smooth, dual boot system that's easy to manage. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks to get the most out of your Steam Deck. Love what you see? Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Retro Pocket for your regular dose of entertainment magic. Happy gaming, and see you in the next video.